Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was a global icon whose music, charisma, and good looks captivated millions. But behind the fame, he had a personal life full of mystery, especially when it came to love. While fans know the polished image of Elvis, his early relationships tell a much different story. What did the women who knew him best during those formative years have to say? Did Elvis have a side that fans never got to see? We're about to dive into the hidden truths from the girlfriends who witnessed the rise of a legend and what they revealed may shock you. From the tender moments to the pressures of fame, these early romantic entanglements shaped the man who would become a cultural icon. Stay tuned for surprising and jaw-dropping revelations that will change how you view the king forever. Because when it comes to Elvis, there's always more than meets the eye. Number 6. Elvis's First Love Elvis Presley's teenage years were a time of discovery, passion, and dreams that were still taking shape. Long before he became the king, he was just a shy boy from Tupelo, Mississippi, with a love for music and big ambitions. It was during this formative period that Elvis experienced his first taste of serious romance, and like any young man, he found himself swept up in the excitement of young love. His first serious relationship marked the beginning of a journey that would eventually lead him to superstardom. But at the time, it was all about innocent dates, long conversations, and dreams of the future. This was the Elvis no one knew, the one still figuring out who he was, both as a person and as a performer. The woman who captured Elvis's heart during these years was someone who would later reflect on how deeply his early ambitions influenced their relationship. Her name was Dixie Locke, and their connection began through mutual friends, as many teenage romances do. Dixie was one of the few people who knew Elvis before the world did, and she had a front row seat to his evolution from a high school student to a rising local star. They would attend church together, go on simple dates, and share moments that any young couple in love would. But what set Elvis apart, even back then, was his undeniable drive and passion for music. According to Dixie, it was clear that Elvis wasn't just dreaming about a life in music. He was determined to make it happen. Dixie often described Elvis as incredibly ambitious, even in those early days when fame seemed like a distant fantasy. She revealed that he was always thinking about his next step, his next performance, and how he could break into the music world. But beyond his ambition, there was a softness and vulnerability that only those closest to him could see. He wasn't yet the confident rock star that the world would later adore. He was a young man still figuring out his place in the world. Dixie noted that while Elvis was deeply focused on his music, he also had a sensitive, caring side, which often got lost in the whirlwind of his growing popularity. It was this duality, his fierce drive and tender heart, that made him both captivating and complicated. Though their relationship was filled with tender moments, there was always a sense of something bigger on the horizon, a feeling that Elvis was destined for a world much larger than the one they lived in. While their love was real, it became increasingly clear that the pressures of fame were looming, even if they couldn't fully understand it at the time. As Elvis's career began to take off, the demands on his time grew, and the relationship slowly began to change. There was a bitter sweetness to their time together, filled with the nostalgia of first love, but shadowed by the inevitable separation that fame would bring. What started as a simple teenage romance would soon become a defining chapter in Elvis's life, one that set the stage for the more intense and tumultuous relationships that would follow. Number 5. Girlfriends During his rise to fame As Elvis's fame began to skyrocket in the mid-1950s, his early relationships took on a different tone. No longer just a local boy with big dreams, he was now the face of a new generation of music, with fans screaming his name and chasing him wherever he went. This newfound fame brought excitement, but it also brought complications, especially when it came to his personal life. 
Elvis found himself caught between the world of a rising superstar and the simple life he once knew, and his relationships reflected that tension. While he still craved love and companionship, the women he dated during this phase quickly realized that being with Elvis Presley was far from normal. One of the women who experienced this firsthand was June Juanico, who dated Elvis during the early stages of his career. June often described the dizzying experience of dating a man who was quickly becoming a household name. She once said, It felt like we were living in two different worlds. One minute it was just us, like any other couple, and the next, we were surrounded by fans who couldn't get enough of him. While Elvis could be incredibly sweet and attentive, the pressures of fame were always lurking in the background, ready to pull him away at a moment's notice. June noted that Elvis had a genuine desire for intimacy and connection, but the constant demands of his career made it nearly impossible for them to maintain a normal relationship. As Elvis's star continued to rise, other women he was involved with echoed similar sentiments. They admired his talent and charm, but couldn't ignore how fame began to consume him. One girlfriend revealed, he was still the Elvis I knew, but there was always this sense that he belonged to everyone else, not just me. The balance between being a devoted partner and a global superstar became increasingly difficult for Elvis to manage. While he tried to hold on to the relationships that grounded him, it was clear that his fame was changing everything. Many of the women from this era expressed surprise at how quickly his life transformed and how hard it was for Elvis to juggle the demands of being a partner with the pressure of being the king of rock and roll. Number 4. Elvis's Unbelievable Charm and Sensitivity While the world saw Elvis Presley as the ultimate symbol of cool, an untouchable rock star with a rebellious edge, those who knew him intimately saw a very different side. Far from the tough celebrity persona that fans adored, Elvis was often described by the women in his life as deeply sensitive and surprisingly romantic. His girlfriend spoke of thoughtful gestures that shattered the image of the hardened icon, revealing a man who was vulnerable, affectionate, and caring. Whether it was through handwritten love notes, unexpected gifts, or quiet moments of tenderness, Elvis had a way of making the women in his life feel special even amidst the chaos of his fame. One girlfriend shared, He was always so gentle and soft-spoken in private. He'd bring me flowers just because, and sometimes we'd sit and talk for hours, just the two of us. That was the real Elvis, not the one everyone else saw. There were also countless anecdotes from girlfriends about Elvis's emotional depth, something that fans rarely had the chance to witness. For instance, June Juanico remembered how Elvis would often play songs for her on the piano, not as a performer, but as a man simply sharing a piece of himself. She recalled him being particularly vulnerable during these moments, pouring his emotions into the music. Another girlfriend recalled how deeply Elvis cared for his family, especially his mother, and how that translated into his relationships. He was always concerned about the people he loved, often going out of his way to make sure they were comfortable and happy. These intimate stories painted a picture of Elvis as a man full of warmth and compassion, qualities that were often overshadowed by his larger-than-life image as the king of rock and roll. Number 3. The Downside, Fame and Pressure on Relationships As Elvis Presley's star continued to rise, the effects of his growing fame became a constant strain on his early relationships. What once began as sweet, innocent romances soon turned into a whirlwind of public attention, jealousy, and overwhelming pressure. Elvis was no longer just a boyfriend. He was becoming an international sensation, and that change inevitably took a toll on the women he was closest to. His schedule became more demanding, his personal time more limited, and suddenly, being with Elvis meant sharing him with the world. Girlfriends who once enjoyed quiet moments with the young singer now found themselves competing with fans, the media, and the music industry for his attention. It was a life none of them were fully prepared for, and the emotional weight of it started to show. 
Many of the women Elvis dated during his rise to fame spoke candidly about the challenges they faced being with a man who was adored by millions. Jealousy became an almost unavoidable part of their relationships, as adoring fans would flock to Elvis wherever he went, leaving little room for privacy. One former girlfriend admitted, I knew it wasn't his fault, but it felt like I was constantly fighting for his attention. Everywhere we went, there were people who wanted a piece of him, and I started to feel like I was losing him to the world. The pressure of being with such a high-profile figure also meant adjusting to a lifestyle that was anything but ordinary. Long stretches of time apart while Elvis was on tour, the constant media scrutiny and the knowledge that the entire world was watching put a strain on relationships that were once built on simple affection. Perhaps the most heartbreaking aspect for some of Elvis's early girlfriends was the feeling of being left behind as his fame soared to unimaginable heights. They went from being the center of his world to feeling overshadowed by the bright lights of stardom. One girlfriend recalled how she struggled to recognize the man she had fallen in love with as his career consumed more of his life. He was still Elvis, but something had changed, she said. There were times when I felt like I didn't even know him anymore. This sense of isolation was a shocking admission from several women who had stood by Elvis in his early days, only to find themselves sidelined by the demands of his career. While they loved him, they couldn't help but feel like his fame was a force they couldn't compete with, leaving them emotionally adrift as Elvis continued his meteoric rise. Number 2. What You Won't Believe Elvis's Conflicted Feelings As Elvis Presley's girlfriends shared their stories, some of the most surprising revelations came from the conflicted feelings Elvis had about love, fame, and the constant invasion of his privacy. Despite his larger-than-life persona, Elvis struggled with deep insecurities, especially when it came to his relationships. While the world saw a confident, magnetic star who could have any woman he wanted, Behind closed doors, Elvis wrestled with the pressures of his fame and the toll it took on his ability to trust. One girlfriend revealed, Elvis loved being adored, but at the same time, he hated that he could never be sure if someone really loved him for who he was or just for the image of the king. This internal conflict made his romantic life more complicated than anyone could imagine, creating a barrier between the man and the myth. These surprising confessions starkly contrasted with the image Elvis had carefully crafted for the public. To the world, Elvis was the epitome of cool, a man who seemed untouchable, fully in control of his life and his relationships. But the truth was far more complex. His girlfriends shared that beneath the confident exterior, Elvis craved real, meaningful connections, yet he often felt trapped by the very fame he had worked so hard to achieve. The constant spotlight left him feeling isolated and paranoid, unsure if he could truly open up to anyone without fear of betrayal. As one woman put it, he was living in a bubble. People thought he had it all, but he was constantly struggling with loneliness. These revelations show that even Elvis, the king of rock and roll, was vulnerable to the emotional toll of fame. Perhaps the most shocking revelation from his early girlfriends was how Elvis sometimes viewed fame not as a blessing, but as a burden. One girlfriend disclosed that there were moments when Elvis confessed he longed for a simpler life, away from the cameras and constant attention. He would tell her, I just want to be normal again. I wish I could walk down the street without everyone staring. This key revelation paints a picture of a man who, despite having achieved everything he had ever dreamed of, still felt unfulfilled. For fans who have always seen Elvis as a larger-than-life figure, these intimate details are nothing short of startling. The idea that Elvis Presley, the ultimate symbol of fame, struggled with his own success and yearned for privacy is a shocking truth that changes how we view the king and the price he paid for his legacy. Number 1. The Fallout and Impact on Elvis's Later Relationships the emotional dynamics of Elvis's early relationships left a lasting mark on his later life, setting the tone for much of his romantic journey. 
As his fame grew, the challenges he faced in balancing love and stardom became more pronounced, and the cracks that appeared in his first relationships only widened over time. The insecurity and mistrust that Elvis began to feel in his younger years continued to follow him, making it difficult for him to maintain long-term, healthy connections. His girlfriends from those early days often hinted at the emotional scars Elvis carried, which would resurface in his future relationships. One former girlfriend recalled, Even back then, I could tell Elvis had trouble letting people get too close. He was always holding a part of himself back, even from those he cared about. These early experiences created patterns that would haunt Elvis throughout his life. His struggle to trust, his need for validation, and the intense pressure of his public image all contributed to a cycle that repeated itself in his later relationships. Girlfriends from his early years noted how Elvis often feared being abandoned, which led him to seek control in his romantic life. This need for control, combined with the constant demands of fame, made it hard for him to find stability in love. One girlfriend explained, he would pull people in, but then push them away when things got too real. It was as if he was afraid of being hurt, so he built walls around himself. These emotional patterns, established in his early relationships, would continue to influence the way Elvis approached love, leaving a complex legacy of both passion and heartbreak in the king's personal life. Elvis Presley's early romances not only shaped his personal life, but also deeply influenced the man he became behind the fame. These formative relationships reveal a far more complex, vulnerable, and emotionally conflicted Elvis than the confident rock star the world idolized. His early experiences with love and heartbreak set the stage for the complicated dynamics that would define his future relationships, showing us a side of the king that few ever saw. You won't believe how different the real Elvis was compared to the public persona, the man who craved intimacy yet struggled to trust, who adored his fans but longed for a simpler life. What did you think of these hidden truths about Elvis's love life? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more untold stories about the king of rock and roll. There's so much more to uncover.